This is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon and welcome to Live at 4. We have an update to the breaking news out of Janesville from earlier today. Janesville police have arrested a suspect in an incident that led to a road closing in that city. According to a release at 8.55 this morning, Janesville police responded to a home on the 2000 block of Excalibur Drive for a family issue. The victim reported her brother had threatened her with a gun, which she thought was a BB gun. But upon further investigation, it was found to be a real gun and the Janesville SWAT team was called. The suspect barricaded himself inside the home, but was eventually persuaded to leave and was arrested. News 3 Now is not naming the suspect because he has not yet been formally charged. The second attempt to recall Republican State Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has failed. Now that is according to the findings of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. In its final review of the attempt, it found the organizers failed to gather enough signatures to trigger a recall election. The effort was further complicated by concerns over which district maps would be used for the recall. But the staff review found that it didn't matter which maps were used because organizers didn't have enough signatures for either. The recall is backed by former President Donald Trump, who has resumed his criticisms of Voss over failing to impeach elections official Megan Wolf. Nationally, efforts are moving forward on PFAS chemicals. The Environmental Protection Agency announced a new rule today to limit them in the nation's drinking water. The agency says the change will prevent thousands of deaths and reduce tens of thousands of serious illnesses. The new EPA rule requires public drinking water systems to monitor, reduce, and report high levels of six of the most common and toxic PFAS chemicals, sometimes called forever chemicals. They are called that because they do not break down easily and can last for thousands of years in the environment. Exposure to high levels of these chemicals has been linked to cancers, liver and heart issues, and developmental issues for infants and children. These chemicals entering our environment in an uncontrolled manner are harmful to our families, harmful to our communities, and harmful to our economy. PFOS are used in everyday products, including food packaging, non-stick cookware, cosmetics, and other personal care products. The EPA announced nearly $1 billion in funding to help states and territories meet the new standards. Tomorrow may be a little noisier than usual as the statewide tornado drill will take place across Wisconsin. It's always good to have a heads up about that, to expect it. According to Wisconsin Emergency Management, tornado drills will take place tomorrow at one 1.45 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. Schools and businesses and homes are encouraged to practice going to their nearest tornado shelter during the drills. Ideal tornado shelters include a basement, a ground floor interior room. Just a couple of hours ago, Dane County Emergency Management announced they will not be sounding the outdoor warning sirens in association with the statewide tornado drill. Well, let's get a look at your first warn forecast now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington with your forecast. Oh, no. That's hi, actually, Chica. yeah. <laughs> hi, surprise. Yeah. How are things outside? <laughs> I hear the birds chirping. Yeah, I mean, it's incredibly nice out here. If you can believe it, it's actually warmer compared to yesterday. It has been a bit cloudier, but the temperatures have not been impacted by the clouds whatsoever. 67 degrees is the current temperature in Madison, well above average. I can sit out here and have a picnic, and I definitely don't need any kind of jacket or coat. Looking at the temperatures across Dane County, there are a few locations in the lower 70s. That's also the case if we zoom further out, especially to the south of Dane County and also off to the west. There are a few locations in the 70s. Now we're going to remain cloudy through the evening as temperatures will drop into the middle 50s throughout the evening, but we aren't going to see any precipitation until tomorrow. Looking at the current radar, we are dry right now. As I mentioned, we are expected to see some rain tomorrow, but it is going to remain dry for about the next 12 hours. If we look further out, though, you can see all that rain to the south of Wisconsin that will slowly track its way north into our area, and we are expected to see those showers during the afternoon hours but for tonight only going to see cloud cover with low temperatures dropping into the middle 40s so it will be a fairly mild night and although it is going to rain tomorrow we aren't going to see too much of a drop in the temperatures but i'll talk more in detail about that coming up a little bit later 
Well, Packers fans better start practicing their Portuguese. The green and gold is taking the NFL to Sao Paulo, Brazil this year. The Packers are playing their first ever regular season game there. They will face off against the Philadelphia Eagles on September 6th. The game will be played at Corinthians Arena. The venue is the home of the Brazilian soccer team, the SC Corinthians. The Eagles were designated as the host of the game, and it will be considered a home game for the Packers. The Packers are giving people a chance to meet the team tonight. The tailgate tour is taking a stop at the Eclipse Center in Beloit. Members of the team will be there from 6 to 7.30 with food, activities, and a chance to ask some questions and get some answers. They'll be in Platteville tomorrow and Sun Prairie on Friday. You can find more details on the Packers website. The city of Madison is no longer accepting volunteers for its new State Street painting project. After an overwhelming response, the city is closing applications. As of this morning, more than 600 people have signed up to leave their mark on State Street. The city is planning a painting project to go along with a test of the State Street pedestrian mall experiment. Now the city is releasing plans for how the volunteers will help. They will be split up between two shifts on Sunday, April 21st. The first group will begin at 10 a.m. and paint until 1 p.m. The second group will start at noon and go until 3 p.m. Coming up next in, on Live at 4, solar power in Sun Prairie. How the city is looking to harness the energy of the sun when Live at 4 returns. both Medicare and Medicaid? If so, you may qualify for a dual eligible special needs plan from Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield with benefits and coverage for dental services or routine eye exams. Call now to explore plan options available in your zip code. Learn about the additional care, resources, and support you could have with an Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plan. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual eligible special needs plans offer more benefits than you have access to with original Medicare alone. Additional benefits could help you save out of pocket costs. These benefits could include a healthy grocery allowance each month, transportation to plan approved medical appointments, or an annual allowance to spend on eyewear. Most of the Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plans have $0 monthly premiums, $0 copays, or $0 deductibles that can also help you save on out of pocket costs. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, don't miss your chance to enroll in a dual special needs plan. Call today to see what plans with additional benefits may be available in your zip code. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield dual special needs plans offer more than original Medicare, like annual allowances towards dental, vision, or hearing coverage. These plans offer even more benefits that may provide you with additional care and support. With a 24-7 nurse line, you could have access to a registered nurse to help answer your questions whenever you need. If you're in immediate need of a caregiver or emergency services, these Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield plans provide a personal emergency response system. Contact a caregiver or emergency services at the touch of a button. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, don't miss your chance to enroll in a plan with more benefits than you may have with original Medicare alone. Call today to speak with a licensed agent and explore 2024 dual eligible special needs plans. The call is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 800-357-1385. 800-357-1385. That's 800-357-1385. Call now. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. Everyone can agree on 1-800-Hansons because our windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life. And our baths have a no-leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-Hansons. 
Welcome back. City leaders put the sun in Sun Prairie today, announcing a platinum designation by SoulSmart in recognition for their efforts in reducing barriers to solar energy. Kyle Pazorski shows us how they did it. On the heels of Monday's solar eclipse, a big announcement being made by using the sun's power to energize our cities of the future. Sun Prairie City leadership and partners from Dane County made the announcement Wednesday afternoon. Kathy Coons from the Dane County Office of Energy and Climate Change spoke about how Sun Prairie made a collaborative effort with the county to get other municipalities on board with renewable energy. I think a lot of our local governments want to make these things happen, but SoulSmart kind of gives us a recipe for, oh, don't remember, remember to think about this. SoulSmart reserves the platinum designation for cities which have demonstrated high impact solutions to advance solar energy and promote accessible clean energy. City Administrator Aaron Oppenheimer additionally said says the designation will help raise the bar across Dane County, putting more pressure on other cities to do the same by adopting widespread solar energy. Reporting in Sun Prairie, Kapzarski, News 3 Now. The platinum designation gained by Sun Prairie is only the second of its type in the entire U.S. and is the highest level presented by SoulSmart. Turning to national news, Arizona is now poised to join 17 other states that have imposed near total bans on abortion since Roe v. Wade was struck down. Democrats and some Republicans are denouncing the Arizona Supreme Court ruling that a 160-year-old abortion ban is now enforceable with no exceptions for rape or incest. Governor Katie Hobbs is calling on the state legislature to repeal the ban, first enacted in 1864, before Arizona even became a state. Republicans are taking a different tune on the decision. Today's decision should be celebrated, and we're very hopeful that voters will recognize that life is a human right. Planned Parenthood says it will continue to provide abortion services up to 15 weeks for a short period of time. Abortion rights advocates in Arizona are working to get the issue on the ballot this November, joining a handful of other states that are putting the question to the voters. Former President Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg was sentenced to five months in jail today for lying under oath about the size and value of Donald Trump's triplex apartment in New York. Weisselberg was charged with perjury after admitting to the New York Attorney General that he knew Trump's apartment was not the size they claimed on financial statements, although he had testified otherwise in a deposition. That incorrect square footage led the apartment to appear more valuable than it actually was. The former CFO had been charged with five counts of perjury, but pled guilty to two felony counts in a deal with prosecutors. The drawn out battle between American consumers and higher prices saw another setback last month. A key government index said price increases picked up again in March, driven by two essential areas. Karen Kafa is in Washington with a breakdown. U.S. consumers continue to feel the squeeze of higher prices for essentials like gas and shelter. The Bureau of Labor Statistics said Wednesday that the Consumer Price Index increased at a year-over-year -year rate of 3.5 percent in March, the reading the highest annual gain in the last six months. This has definitely been a setback. This is not good news. It doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the Fed or anyone else should give up the fight against inflation. Overall, grocery prices stayed flat month to month, but they're up 1.2 percent from a year ago. I think uh, consumers continue to feel the pinch. I think consumers continue to compare prices to sort of pre-COVID or two or three years ago. Purdue University professor of agricultural economics Joe Balagta says that comparison, in addition to increased costs in other areas, could shade how consumers feel about their grocery tabs. The things that we pay for outside of the grocery store also affect the money we have left to spend on groceries, right? So if we have to spend more on gasoline, um, uh, if our auto insurance uh, becomes more expensive if our housing becomes more expensive. Gas prices ticked up 1.7% from February to March, and the cost of auto insurance was up 2.6% last month, up a whopping 22% from one year ago. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. According to AAA, the average price for a gallon of gas in Wisconsin is $3.38. That is a little over 20 cents less 
than the national average. Well, let's get a look at your first quarter forecast now. Here's meteorologist Jacob Montesano. Hi, Jacob. Hey, Charlotte. Here's a look at the three things you need to know. We are going to see that rain for Thursday, but it's going to be windy on Friday, although it should be dry for much of the day on Friday, with 70s possible as we head to the weekend. So if you thought it was nice today, it's going to be even warmer for Saturday and Sunday. Now, looking at the forecast, we're going to continue to see cloud cover overnight, but we're not expect to see precipitation until well after sunrise tomorrow. Looks like a lot of that rain will impact start to impact our area in the late morning and early afternoon. Heaviest rain looks or at least early looks to be towards Lake Michigan, but these showers are expected to continue through much of the late afternoon and evening. Could see some pockets of heavy rain, but we're mostly looking at rainfall intensities around light to moderate, but this could continue through midnight before clearing out by Friday morning. So kind of around noon until midnight tomorrow, maybe a little bit after midnight tomorrow night, but still not going to see a large amount of precipitation from this, only seeing about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. A few locations could see up to a half inch, but again, not going to see a dramatic uh, increase or dramatic changes in the drought monitor from this system. Now, as we take a look at the temperatures during the time, we're going to be in the 50s for Thursday and Friday, but then take a look at the weekend temperatures. We're expecting highs in the lower 70s. Sunday could even hit the middle uh, middle 70s. This will continue to be nice for the uh, first half of next week, but temperatures look to drop back into the 50s by the time we get to the end of the week. Now, speaking of next week, we are expected to see a few showers, possibly even a few thunderstorms. The first round will come Monday afternoon, but the best chance of thunderstorms next week does look to be Tuesday. And although it's too early to say for sure, we are expecting some possibility of severe thunderstorms. And typically, anytime there is a thunderstorm chance this time of the year, you can expect some severe Severe weather along with it. But again, Tuesday does look to be the best day for that. And speaking of severe weather, we've been talking about severe weather awareness week. That is this week. The tornado drill is tomorrow. But here are a few tips to keep you safe during severe thunderstorms. Uh, first one, secure loose outdoor objects only before the storm has already or before the storm has started. Once the storm has started, stay inside and stay away from windows. And remember, tornadoes can form very quickly with very little notice. Now here's a look at the full 7 to 10 day forecast. Again, the weekend is going to be just about perfect, but we have that rain tomorrow and then we have a rain again expected for the middle or at least the first half of next week. Tuesday does look to be the best chance to see those thunderstorms, but we could see some storms Monday and Wednesday as well as temperatures will slowly decline back into the 50s by the end of the week. Look, the weekend looks great, Jacob. Thank you. In more local news, the Memorial Union Terrace on the UW campus announcing the return of its famous sunburst chairs earlier today. That's when you know spring is officially here. 2,000 chairs will light up the terrace with splashes of color one week from today on April 17th. To go along with the beginning of the summer season, the union is hosting a party to open up the terrace from 4 to 6 p.m. that day. An open mic night starts after the party, hosted by Wood Music. The Dane County Farmers Market returns this weekend already, and that means some minor street closures are ahead. The Y intersection between State and West Mifflin and North Carroll Street will be closed on Saturday. The closure affects all motor vehicles and will last from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Traffic will have to detour around the square and Metro buses will also have detours. With the warmer weather comes the migration of the monarchs and the UW Madison Arboretum is asking people for help in researching these creatures. The Monarch Larva Monitoring Project is looking for citizen scientists to sign up. Anyone involved would be watching monarch caterpillars. The organization says it's a great way to reconnect with nature. This data that volunteers collect is used by researchers to answer big questions and help come up with solutions for the monarch population. An online training session for the project is available next week on April 18th. If you're interested in signing up, you'll learn how to collect data on monarchs and their life cycles from start to finish. Coming up next on Live at 4, local restaurants helping the community. Brady Mallory is live this afternoon with a look at the food fight against hunger. We'll have that when Live at 4 continues.
Hey, Wisconsin neighbors, the best way to prepare for April showers is by upgrading your shower. Right now we're offering 50% off installation plus a free upgrade to our Jacuzzi Rainfall Shower Head. Change your outdated bathroom in as little as one day with the Jacuzzi Bath Remodel System. We bring the showroom to you and give you half off installation too. Many of our customers like Regina and Dennis were surprised at how easy and stress-free the process was. This has been a great experience. I can't even express it. And they <laughs> just excited. <laughs> the team actually set the expectation. We just can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love it. Thank you, Jacuzzi Bath Remodel. Thank you. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> And Tunderland makes your project affordable with no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2025. Call 1-800-TUNDERLAND or visit tunderland.com today. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven-day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95. Plus, get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. What's the big deal at hy V? How about bacon-wrapped sirloins for just $2.99 this Monday through Thursday? Get hy V Choice Reserve bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. That's right, get 5-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. That's a low price on high-end beef. Time to fire up the grill. Get hy V Choice Reserve bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. Monday through Thursday, only at hy V. My boy, what you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, oh. <laughs> you win 3X. Pick four right, you win 10X. And if you pick six right, you win 25X you can. That don't get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. All right, attention foodies. What if you could help someone just by eating out? Sign me up. Yeah. We're continuing our look at food fight against hunger and how it is supporting people in need in our area. Brady Mallory joins us from a participating restaurant with a closer look. Hi, Brady. Well, hello there. I'm at Canteen on the square here in Madison. So first of all, remember when they told you you can't do a food fight? Well, I'm giving you permission to do that, but before you take a fistful of mashed potatoes and throw them at that in-law that you have had it up to here with, don't do that. This is another kind of food fight. This is a much better one. So I'm here with owner and chef Jason Van Omeren here at Canteen. How are you? I'm fantastic. Oh, How good. are you doing? Very good. So what are, we, what are we making here? So we got three items on the menu. We have our beef and potato empanadas. We have lamb braised tacos, and then we have our dessert, which is Carlota de Limon. Can I help you make something while we chat about this? Sure, man. Pasta? You want to make this while I'm cooking the yeah, tortillas perfect. and the empanadas? So for this one, just put a nice little line of the crumbled of the, this is vanilla wafer cookie crumble. Okay. Put it right there on the top there, and then this is a twist of lime right on the top with a little okay. twist like that. The pressure's on. This is me auditioning for no, no, a No, no, easy money, easy job. money. Okay. So you've been involved with Food Fight Against Hunger, the campaign to help Second Harvest Food Bank. And to help people in need who need some extra help. Why is that important for you? You know, it's nice to give back to the community like that. Yeah. What is it about food that interests you? Like, what do you like about it? I love eating it. Yeah. Eating food is delicious. 
Um, I don't know. It's also a nice way to express yourself, and I, I like the intensity of a kitchen and the camaraderie and the teamwork and what have you behind the scenes. Yeah, it's all fun for me. I've been doing this for years, my man. So it looks like you have a nice little process. Yeah, we know what to do back uh -huh. here. Uh huh. So people, this is great. People can go out. We're such a foodie town. They can go out have dinner with their friends and family, but yeah. they can also give back to people in need. So how can they do that? I'm sorry, one more time. How, how can they do that? How can they give back to people in need just by eating out? Oh, just eating out? So we have three different techniques. We have the tip jar, which we actually match whatever you put in there. So if you want to drop a dollar in there, we'll match you a dollar as a company. We, on the bottom of our actual ticket, once you pay your bill, you have a donation that you can put in there too, just whatever number you want to put in there. And then every dollar of each one of these items sold also goes to Second Harvest yeah. to you know, help feed the people in the area. Well, and I know the need has grown by so much. And, you know, just last year, I believe Second Harvest distributed the most food ever. And that need keeps growing. So mm. we want to make a big difference this okay. year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Are, this looks beautiful, buddy. Oh, thank you. Look oh at this. God. Look what I did. You're hired, buddy. Okay, great. So um, I guess I'm not coming back to work now. I'm just going to work here. So <laughs> as we wrap up, uh, we are running out of time. So what should people do? Should they, uh, how should they, We have, what, what day is it, the 10th? They have many more days to come out and help out. What should they do? Come on in. Come and get some food. We got yeah. beef and potato empanadas with Carlota de la and lamb braised tacos here. That sounds pretty good to come me. Eat it. Do we have time to plate something yeah, up man. over there? Easy. Do I have permission from my producer? Okay. I already got this one done. Okay, these are the Producer. empanadas? Yep, these are the empanadas oh. sold like that with our fresh salsa verde on the Look side. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, these are some of the treats that you can get. And then here we go. We'll do this And then we'll do right the here. tacos quick. This is the, the braised lamb tacos. Oh, that sounds really, really good. This is the braised lamb meat here. Charlotte and Susan, are your mouths watering yet? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're, they are. <laughs> yep, yep, we're good. We're good. You need to bring that all back. We need, you know, Top quality testing here. Cilantro. Um... Yeah, oh. if it lasts in my car, maybe I will bring some back, but it might disappear. I don't know what's going to happen. Remember who your friends are, there Brady. There we go. There's a... <laughs> I will. I will. All right. Well, I'm, I'm busy. I have to go, Susan and okay, Charlotte. Okay. Good remember, luck with your side you can hustle. Help out people in need, people who need some food in our community. Thank you. And go to our website, channel3000.com, for more information. It's a great cause. Tough assignment for mm -hmm. you there, Brady. <laughs> well done. Well done. All right, coming up next on Live at Four, abortion remains a rather controversial issue. Going into the election, we're clarifying Wisconsin Republican stances on abortion. That's when Live at Four returns. Attention homeowners, Mad City Baths is looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. And now be one of 50 homeowners who call and receive a free installation on a new bath or shower with no interest and no payments till 2026. Senior military discounts plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Have your zip code and location ready to qualify. Call Mad City now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4460. That's 608-729-4466. Entresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. I'm Clint. I'm Phil, saving you big time money on peanut butter and jelly. 26 ounce Smucker's natural peanut butter, just $5.69. Or 32 ounce Smucker's grape jelly, just $2.69. I caramba high prices on premium peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, $5.69 or jelly, $2.69. We buy direct, no one beats these prices. Better, better products, products, better, better prices, prices, better service, because, because we're employee owned. owned. It's 
Nobody wants to put a new roof over their head. It's too expensive. And if they can extend the life of that roof and get five more years or 10 more years, it's a no-brainer. What RoofMax does is it helps people in that they don't have to spend that $15,000, $20,000 on a new roof. They can spend pennies on the dollar. The RoofMax product was a small percentage of cost of replacing a roof. This is a great financial decision for us as a community. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Let's take a look outside this afternoon. Great oh day to clean the windows. Yeah. Boy, I don't know how that, now that is a job. I don't know how they uh -huh, do that. Yeah, just don't look down. <laughs> That's exactly right. Look straight ahead. But a little rain, actually, after he does all that hard work, mm -hmm. now it's going to rain. I know. Well, that never like, fails, right? You wash your car, and it's going to rain. So our weather words today are some April showers. Mm -hmm. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano joins us now with more on this upcoming rain in his first horn forecast. Hi, Jacob. Hey, Charlotte. But before I talk about the rain, I have to talk about how nice it is out here. Today was even warmer than yesterday, if you can believe it. And you know it's nice out when the clouds are kind of blocking the sun, but it still is very comfortable nonetheless. Current temperature is 67 in Madison, just beautiful. Pretty little wind. I'm not really feeling anything out here, so conditions are just about perfect, at least what I like to consider perfect. I like temperatures right around upper 60s, lower 70s, and that's where we're at right now. A few locations have indeed gotten into the 70s, especially across Dane County. Now, as we take a look at your evening forecast, we're going to continue to see cloud cover and temperatures aren't going to be cool at all. We'll have 50s through the evening and then overnight we're only going to drop into the middle to upper 40s. Now, taking a look at the current radar, nothing right now, but we are seeing those showers to the south of us slowly creeping their way up into southern Wisconsin. We aren't going to see precipitation tonight, but we are going to see those clouds stay pretty consistent. The rain is expected during the day tomorrow. I'll take you through the timing on that and show you just how nice it's going to be for the weekend afterwards. I'll have all those details coming up a bit later. Well, tomorrow may be a little noisier than usual as statewide tornado drills will take place all across Wisconsin. According to the Wisconsin Emergency Management, tornado drills will take place tomorrow at 1.45 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. Schools, businesses, and homes are encouraged to practice going to their nearest tornado shelter during the drills. Ideal tornado shelters can include a basement, a ground floor interior room, and just a couple of hours ago, Dane County Emergency Management announcing they will not be sounding the outdoor warning sirens in association with the statewide tornado drill. Well, as we look ahead to this fall's election, one of the main issues that will dominate the campaign is abortion. Former President Donald Trump announced his stance on abortion on Monday, but where do Wisconsin's other Republicans land? Political reporter Will Keneally is here with more. Well, one of the Republicans at the top of Wisconsin's ballot this fall is Eric Hovde. He's a Republican challenging Tammy Baldwin for the U.S. Senate. Now, earlier this month, he got the endorsement of former President Donald Trump during a rally in Green Bay. Now, reporters asked Hovde about his stance on abortion during an event in Milwaukee. I think women early on in a pregnancy should have a right to make a choice. But I think there is a point where once a baby can be born healthy and alive, that's unconscionable that that baby could be terminated. Now, Hovde is challenging Tammy Baldwin for the U.S. Senate seat. Baldwin is among a group of Senate Democrats pushing for a national abortion protection bill. Now, we'll have more on how abortion will impact this campaign, including Hovde's stance on contraceptives. It's coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Well, when Madison's most iconic silhouette in the skyline gets work, where it gets work done, you cannot miss it. Crews are currently providing maintenance to the Wisconsin State Capitol. Our Catherine Merck takes us to the tallest building in the city to show us the people behind the project. How would you like a job where you get the best view of the city of Madison? Sounds like a pretty sweet deal if you aren't afraid of heights. You had people looking up and pointing at you all the time. You may have seen the scaffolding surrounding the Wisconsin State Capitol right now. Those who work for the Department of Administration tell me crews are cleaning the granite and replacing bird netting, which will close off a large part of the observation deck this summer. You have to uphold the appearance of this historic building. Um, this just gives us another tool in our toolbox as far as getting and basically ensuring that areas that can be covered are protected. 
The people behind the project tell me you may have seen this look for the building back in 2000. That was the last time the netting was replaced. A bird's eye view is routine for the job description for those taking care of the people's house. Fear of heights is, is not uh, conducive to a career in maintenance. Myself and the people I'll work with take a lot of pride in working at this building because, I mean, it is the most iconic building in the city, if not the state. So uh, every day we come in, we're all very aware of that. About a quarter of the observation deck will open back up to the public on May 4th, and then the scaffolding will come down when the project is expected to be completed in the fall of this year. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. A new government report shows inflation continues to climb on top of already high prices. Gas prices are creeping up again. AAA says the national average for regular unleaded is up 22 cents a gallon in the past month. But it's not just gas. Overall, prices jumped 3.5 percent in March, up from 3.2 percent in February. The Federal Reserve increased interest rates over the past two years to slow the economy and lower inflation. Economists believe if prices drop this year, the Fed could start cutting rates this summer, but now that expectation is changing. A rate drop, a cut, is certainly off the table for the May meeting, probably the June meeting, I'm guessing perhaps the July meeting, unless things really improve. Price hikes at the grocery store are slowing down, but years of high inflation has taken a toll. A trip to the supermarket in 2019 that cost $100 now has shoppers paying $133. Many experts are now forecasting the first rate cut may not come until September. And that hotter than expected inflation news threw cold water on the stock market today. All three major indexes veered sharply lower. The Dow plunged 422 points at the close. The S&P dropped 49 and the Nasdaq slid down 136 points. The Dane County Farmers Market returns this weekend and that means some minor street closures ahead. The Y intersection between State, West Mifflin and North Carroll Street will be closed on Saturday. The closure affects all motor vehicles and will last from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Traffic will have to detour around the square and Metro buses will also have detours. The city of Madison is no longer accepting volunteers for its new State Street painting project, but it's for a good reason. There was an overwhelming response, so the city is closing applications. As of this morning, more than 600 people signed up to leave their mark on State Street. The city is planning a painting project to go along with a test of the State Street pedestrian mall experiment. Now the city is releasing plans for how the volunteers will help. They'll be split up between two shifts on Sunday, April 21st. The first group will begin at 10 a.m. and paint until 1 p.m. The second group will begin at noon and go until 3 p.m. Well, coming up after the break, a split on Capitol Hill. Republicans facing pressure to go against the House Speaker. Why Donald Trump is pushing against the will of the party when Live at Four continues. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. For affordable American-made baths and showers installed in as little as one day, homeowners trust Mad City Baths. From walk-in showers with a low-entry shower base to walk-in tubs with relaxing hydrotherapy. Plus, with Mad City's price lock guarantee, receive a free design consultation and we'll lock your price in for one year. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate from Mad City. Be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. 
Pilots at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family vacationers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We're all about the thrill of the deal, the joy of finding the thing you forgot to pack, the swimsuit that's the hit of the park, the dress that makes you walk with swagger, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Save even more with 25% off and get a free Vera Bradley umbrella. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. TDS Fiber Internet makes our home smarter. Working, playing, living, learning. It's all better with TDS Fiber Internet because it's faster, more reliable. It's award-winning internet served up by friendly local folks. It's what keeps us connected. And isn't that what it's all about? Say hello to internet that hits different. Say hello to TDS. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Tonight at 5, Sun Prairie is taking solar to a level few can match. Find out what the city did to become only the second municipality in the nation to receive a platinum Soul Smart designation. Get outside and enjoy a nice evening because Thursday will not be as nice at 5 at track. Who can expect rain showers on Thursday and how much rain your town may get? And ahead at 6, we take you to the top of the state capitol to get a bird's eye view of the maintenance workers going to great heights to keep the downtown icon looking good. Former President Donald Trump is pressuring House Republicans to kill a bill that would reauthorize a surveillance law. The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, is a controversial law that allows warrantless surveillance of foreigners, but also lets the FBI collect data from Americans. This week, the House is taking up a bill to reauthorize the law for five years with a series of reforms. Trump blasted the law on social media, claiming it was illegally used against him to spy on his campaign. Trump's demand could prove to be a major problem for House Speaker Mike Johnson and could threaten the entire bill. President Biden officially welcomed Japanese Prime Minister Kishida Fumio to the White House today for a formal state visit, an honor that includes an Oval Office meeting, a press conference, and later tonight a state dinner with musician Paul Simon performing. During the Prime Minister's visit, the two leaders will be discussing national security threats, military cooperation, and dealing with China. Well, coming up, we're celebrating Earth Month while traveling around the world. We are taking a look at how hotels are making sure your stay is more sustainable and how you can help with this initiative when Live at Four continues. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. They're very concerned about the job that they do and um, very professional and uh, like I said before, very friendly. So I appreciated that too. With more than 50,000 satisfied customers and an A-plus rating with the BBB, Mad City Baths is the company to call for high-quality bath and shower installations in as little as one day. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners who call now will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your estimate. Now be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify here at Mad City. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. What's the big deal at Hy-Vee? How about bacon-wrapped sirloins for just $2.99 this Monday through Thursday? Get Hy-Vee Choice Reserve bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. That's right, get 5-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. That's a low price on high-end beef. Time to fire up the grill. Get Hy-Vee Choice Reserve bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. Monday through Thursday, only at Hy-Vee. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. 
But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. We're giving the weather satellite a spin this afternoon. That is a great shot of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All those bridges, isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm, Steel City. 66 and cloudy in Pittsburgh today. It is Earth Month and just about every hotel you check into these days offers information about its sus sustainability efforts. But some are going much further in their missions to improve the environment and the surrounding community. We spoke earlier with Wendy Gillette about a couple of private island paradises. Charlotte and Susan, these are both sustainable resorts on steroids. Just about every way you can think of to be more sustainable, these hotels are doing and hope to inspire others industry-wide to increase their efforts. A wine bottle is crushed into pieces of glass and transformed into stools and cement products at Six Senses Lamu in the Maldives. Reverse osmosis makes water from the Indian Ocean drinkable, served in recyclable glass bottles. Taylor sew staff uniforms in every fabric item. Coconuts are ground down to create oil used in the spa. Chickens reduce food waste and a garden produces vegetables, mushrooms and herbs. If you can grow it yourself, then you help reduce the carbon footprint. The sustainability efforts don't stop there. Ten marine biologists work out of a new hub, taking on local education, conservation and research projects. To help set policy uh, and guidance in the Maldives for how to protect the marine environment. Mm. In French Polynesia, protecting the marine life, including sea turtles and whales, is also a big part of the legacy left by the late actor Marlon Brando at the Brando Resort, where we also stayed for a special raid. Marlon's vision was to receive visitors on Tetiaroa, on his island, who would have a positive impact on the environment. You smell this before we arrive. Guides take visitors through the area's wildlife, nature, and culture. The nonprofit Teitiaroa Society also hosts researchers. Alongside the luxury favored by the famous are sustainability projects, including an organic garden, water treatment plant, and turning crushed glass into the island's roadways. The resort has more than 4,700 recyclable solar panels, which help power the property along with a deep ocean water air conditioning system. It pipes water from 3,000 feet deep to cool much of the resort. Travel advisor Michelle Bemis from McLean, Virginia, recently visited with her daughter and connected with the Brando's mission. If we don't preserve what we have, what's left for the next generations? And on these islands, there's so much to preserve. A survey from The Vacationer conducted last year shows more than 80% of Americans consider sustainable travel as very or somewhat important to them. Susan and Charlotte, very interesting. If you can't afford, though, to go to the Maldives, mm -hmm. which is, oh boy, that was just spectacularly beautiful. If you can't <laughs> afford to travel to these places, how can you still support the cause? Yeah, first of all, I'm a big fan of the Maldives. I've been there four times and I'm going in a couple weeks and it is absolutely gorgeous. One of the best places I've ever been in my life. But it does come down to donating money, even small sums. Six Senses works with organizations including the Manta Trust and Blue Marine Foundation and the Brando's Tati Aroa Society is funded entirely by donations. So your money can do a lot of work even if you can't be there. 
All right. We're well, trying to go to the Maldives. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the trip to the Maldives once again, Wendy. Thank you very much. Sure. A lucky duck. We need to go there and just carry her bags. <laughs> exactly. It's not the Maldives, <laughs> but it's certainly nice outside around here this afternoon. It's a great, great evening outside, Jacob. Yeah, and it's going to be even better as we head towards the weekend. But unfortunately, before then, we do have some rain and windy conditions. So we're expecting that rainfall for Thursday, windy conditions Friday, but then 70s are expected over the weekend, especially on Sunday. So let me take you through the forecast on the rainfall. We're going to continue to see cloudy skies overnight, but we should remain mostly dry. Could see a few showers near Lake Michigan uh, during the overnight hours, but our region will mostly see those showers develop in late morning to early afternoon, and they are expected to continue through the evening. Now, we could see a few pockets of moderate to heavy rain, but for the most part, we're expecting light precipitation, and it will end roughly around midnight tomorrow night, kind of between midnight and 3 a.m. and it's looking like when it is when it will clear out and we should be dry by the time we get to Friday morning. Now total precipitation will not be a lot. We'll only see about a half inch at most. A lot of our area will see roughly around a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So this won't be a huge deal, but rain is still likely nonetheless. Now we also are going to see some pretty windy conditions. Not too bad overnight and during the morning tomorrow it's not going to be too bad, but it's going to become breezy during the day. Uh, Thursday night into Friday morning is the windiest time we could see those wind gusts up to 35 maybe even approaching 40 miles per hour Friday morning but opposite of Thursday the winds are going to get better throughout the day on Friday and then by the weekend we're going to see calm winds and very nice temperatures as we are going to have forecasted highs in the 70s especially on Sunday and then those temperatures will slowly cool back down in, into the 50s by the end of the week the reason for that is we have a few chances of thunderstorms over next week the first round looks to be Monday afternoon not expecting as much uh, storm activity then but Tuesday looks to be the best chance of those thunderstorms and at this time of the year anytime we have a chance of thunderstorms we typically expect there to be also be a chance of severe weather still a bit unclear as to just how much severe weather or how severe it will be but we'll continue updating as we get closer but nonetheless expect to see more rain especially during the day on Thursday so looking at the full 7 to 10 day forecast temperatures will remain mild through much of next week before dropping back into the 50s by next weekend but this weekend is going to be just about perfect. At least that's what I consider perfect weather, kind of like 70s and sunshine. A lot of people I'm sure are going to love the conditions, especially for the first weekend of the farmer's market. So get out and enjoy the weather. And even though we are going to see some storms uh, for next week, temperatures are still going to remain pretty comfortable. You know, we're getting to the time of year where it's not really going to be cold anymore, uh, especially by the time we get to May. Uh, so overall, mild temperatures are going to continue. We'll be right back. Attention homeowners, time is running out to call Mad City Baths as we look for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. Choose from premium wall patterns including Santa Cruz and Arctic ice, infused with microband for easy cleaning. In addition to baths, Mad City is also your trusted source for eco sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Last chance during this program to be one of 50 homeowners who receive promotional pricing with free installation of on a new bath or shower. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. And remember, it's your last chance to call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with estimate. Zip code and location are important. Call Mad City Baths now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromChevrolet.com. Hey, Wisconsin neighbors, the best way to prepare for April showers is by upgrading your shower. Right now we're offering 50% off installation plus a free upgrade to our Jacuzzi Rainfall Shower Head. Change your outdated bathroom in as little as one day with the Jacuzzi Bath Remodel System. We bring the showroom to you and give you half off installation too. And Tundraland makes your project affordable with no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2025. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit tundraland.com today. Sun Prairie is taking solar to a level only one other city in the country can match. Find out what this city did to become only the second municipality in the nation and first in the Midwest to receive a platinum SoulSmart designation. 
Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, weeknights. Take a look at this. This father-daughter duo taking to the skies as the sun disappears behind them. The pair free-falling during Monday's solar eclipse from over 14,000 oh. feet. They were in the path of totality in Texas and certainly got a very unique view. While the rest of North America was looking up, they were coming down, unable to look at the sun until they slowed down. But once the shoots deployed, wow, they got a chance to take in that epic event. What an incredible picture that is. Mm -hmm. Disney is changing its policies for guests with disabilities at Walt Disney World in Florida and Disneyland in California. The company is updating its popular disability access service called DAS. DAS allows guests with disabilities to sign up virtually for rides and wait anywhere in the park instead of having to wait in the physical line the entire time. The new policy states that DAS is meant for guests who can't wait in line for an extended period of time due to a developmental disability like autism. Portage Furniture Store, your forever furniture store. Mr. Aaron Ayers, what does that mean? Welcome back, Emmy. Yes, when we talk about forever furniture, we talk about generation lasting heirloom quality custom furniture. Case in point, we live it every day. My wife and I, we have a chair in our home that my grandfather sold to my wife's grandparents. Generation lasting, third generation lasting furniture. Long, long before you and Jen had met. That's an incredible story. We find love at Portage Furniture. He can promise that right there. <laughs> and still free delivery, amazing service from your crew. We talk about it all the time, the best in the business. Bring it in, set it up for you, move it left, move it right. They are the best. They're gonna take care of you. And it looks like the fourth generation, they're just swooping right in. They're making some decisions here, Aaron. They're trying to kick us out the door as quick as they can. They're, they're anxious and they're ready to go. Kenley, are you ready to work in the store someday? Yeah, I was born ready. That a girl, high five. We've all had those moments in businesses where you see the salesperson come at you and you're like, oh man, I haven't even had a second to look. Except that doesn't happen when you come to Portage Furniture. That's right. You know, really, it's a pressure-free environment. Really no pressure at all. Uh, we like our, you know, we like the customers to be able to get a chance to look around, mm -hmm. to, to really sit down on the furniture, to lay down on the mattresses, uh, to really, again, have the no pressure atmosphere here at Absolutely. the store. Absolutely. But they also know their stuff. So when you're ready, when you need them, when you have the questions for them, they're going to be here and, and they're ready to go. Yeah, that's right. You know, our staff and our salespeople are very well knowledge and they know they know the product and everything too. So any questions, they're, they're here for you. From, From the, the entire, entire Portage Furniture family, family, I'm Emmy Fink and, and you're buzzed into Madison. Madison. Gannon 11 present rebate on your renovation project now at Menards. Save time on your paint project with help from Duck Clean Release Painter's Tape. Make your paint job easier while providing clean, crisp lines. Get it for $2.79 after rebate. Complete your room with Shaw Vinyl Plank Flooring. It's durable, waterproof, and easy to install, making it perfect for active households. Pick up Citadel Vinyl Plank for $2.29 per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. That wraps up Live at 4 at midweek. Charlotte's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Charlotte? Susan, tomorrow on Live at 4, the education crisis continues in Wisconsin. A shortage of teachers is continuing. The extent of the crisis and how the state is responding tomorrow on Live at 4. And coming up next at 5, the Bucks star player of out of the game. We'll have an update on Giannis's injury coming up next at 5. We thank you for joining Live at 4, and we hope to see you right back here tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.